In our last lecture, we learned how to connect to database and also create a table in database using phpMyAdmin. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to connect to the database from PHP using PDO, PHP Data Object, which is one of the available API for connecting to MySQL database with PHP. So it's very simple. It's not complicated. Let's go over to the resource folder and open the database file, database.php. In order to connect to MySQL database with PDO, we need to create a new instance of the PDO class and specify the DSN, which is simply the data source name. We specify the database username and also the database uh, password. So let me show you an example. So for instance, I'll say, db equals new pdo so first option as you can see here my test editor is showing me that i need to specify the dsn data source name this basically will tell pdo the driver that you want to use because with pdo we can actually use about 12 drivers so for these we are going to be using mysql so specify my driver as MySQL. So MySQL, then we need to specify the host name as part of the DSN string. Host is going to be equal to localhost. Then we also need to specify the database name. So remember our database register. So next we need to specify the username, which is our database username. So specify this as root. Then we also need to specify the password. For me, it's just empty string. With this, we've already created or established a connection to MySQL database as simple as this is. So here, like I've said, we specify the data source name, which consists of the driver that we're using and the connection string. For instance, we're here we're using MySQL driver and the host is localhost, why the database name is registered, then followed by the username and the password. Okay, so next we just test to see if this connection is successful, we just echo connected to the register database okay all right so we'll go over to our uh, index file and include the database.php file so that we can assess it Okay, so include once, specify the folder source, okay, source slash database.php. So now we'll go over to the browser, local slash auth, error, uncut exception, PDO with message, could not find driver. So this basically shows us that there was a problem why we are attempting to connect into the database and the problem is the driver could not be found so let's go over to our test editor open the database.php file then we see here that i actually mistakenly type my sqsl so it's supposed to be my sql so correct this save and uh, refresh the browser and connected to the register database so we've successfully connected to the database but this is not a better way to set up things a better would be for us to specify our parameters into variables so that we can in turn just include the variables into the pdo uh, constructor so let me show you how to do that we'll create variables first to be uh, username So in this case, uh, root. And next, we create another variable DSN. 
and uh, we just pick up the string from here and paste it here next we need to specify password password in my case is empty string so we could just put here dsn dsn then uh, username and password so looks a lot cleaner to me password okay next like we saw just now when i uh, mistakenly type something here uh, go back to the browser and uh, illustrate that again so you see the exception uh, being displayed this is the default way in which pdo is set up to undo exception by default it is set up to be in error mode silent which means we manually need to fetch exception by ourselves and this will also expose a lot to people who are using our application so we don't want to display our error messages like this instead we should use the PDO exception class to undo errors that may occur while attempting to make a connection to the database. Okay, let me show you how we can do that. So we're going to wrap this up within a try cache block. So I'll just uh, take this out, try, then catch. So we're going to be catching an exception and the exception we want to catch here is PDO exception. I'll call this es okay so then we we'll come back to the try block so basically what we're doing here we're going to try to make a connection to the database if it is successful we display this if it is not successful we could just display a simple string echo connection fade okay so echo connection fade I will go over to the browser and refresh. So instead of that error message that we've seen previously, we just display these to our user. It's connection fade. But when we are developing, then we can actually assess the actual message that is being uh, displayed. Yes, get message. So if we go over to the browser again and refresh, it tells us could not find driver, which is a much uh, cleaner way to display error message. All right, get rid of this. The error mode for PDO by default is set to error mode silent. So we might need to set it to exception. So say DB set attribute. Uh, attribute we want to set will be attribute error mode. So we'll call this PDO scope resolution. So attribute error mode want to set this attribute to pdo exception okay pdo error mode exception okay so let's try this out again refresh gives us more detailed information access denied for user local host as database register so we we'll go over and see why is access denied for user local host at register see there's another error so what's that oh you see here i didn't forgot to put the t so specify here root and we'll refresh again so connected to the register database so basically this is a much cleaner way to establish a connection to a database using a pdu php data objects